Dear students, this time I'm Brigham Sharma coming here to discuss some question answers of two lessons which have been discussed by producer and they are Kurg and T. Framasan. First, I'm taking up the lesson Kurg. Question number one. Where is Kirk? The answer is Kirk is in the middle between Mysore and Mangalore in Karnataka. Question number two Who was the first chief of the Indian Army? The answer is the first chief of the Indian Army was General. Carry up. Question number three. Who wrote the uh, prose piece Kirk? The answer is Lukesh Abrol wrote the uh, prose piece Kirk. Question number four. What is Kirk home to? The answer is Kirk is home to evergreen rainforests, spices, coffee plantation, and wild animal. Question number five. What is the other name of Kurg? The answer is, the other name of Kurg is Kodagu. Question number six. What covers the 30% of Kurg? The answer is, Evergreen rainforests cover the 30% of Kurg. Question number 7. Do the visitors have a good time in Kurg during the monsoon? The answer is no. The visitors do not have a good time in Kurg during the monsoon. Question number 8. What can be seen in Kurg in plenty? The answer is most prominently. The coffee states and evergreen rainforests are seen in Kurg. Question number nine. State Kurg people's descent. Answer. Kurg people are having most probably Greek or Arabic descent. Question number ten. Which crop grows in Kurg in plenty? The answer is. Coffee grows in plenty in Kurg. Question number 11. What is Kupia? The answer is Kupia is an embroidered waist belt worn by the Kadavu. Question number 12. What is the place of the Kurg regiment in Indian Army? The answer is the Kurg regiment. In Indian Army is considered as one of the most decorated regiments. Question number 13. What status did the Kadavus enjoy in India? The answer is the Kadavus enjoy a special status in India of carrying firearms which then without a license. Question number 14. Name the river of Kurk. The answer is Kavri is the river of Kurk. Question number 15. Name large freshwater fish available in the river of Kurk. The answer is Mahasir is the large freshwater fish available in the river of Kurk. Question number 16. Name the birds and animals found in Kurk. The answer is the birds and animals found in Kurk are kingfishers, squirrels, langurs, elephants, macaques, malabar squirrels, slender lorries, etc. Question number 17. 
what are the favorites for the trackers in Kurg? The answer is for the trackers in Kurg, memories of walking trails are favorite. Question number 18. Where from one can have view of the area of Kurg? The answer is from Brahmagri Hills one can have a view of the area of Kurg. Question number 19. Name the island in Kurg. The answer is Nisargadhamma is the island in Kurg. Question number 20. Where is India's largest Tibetan settlement? The answer is India's largest Tibetan settlement is in Bailarkopi in Kurg. Question number 21. Describe in brief Kurg as represented in the opening paragraph. The answer is in the first paragraph, Kurg is described as a heavenly place which must have been drifted from the kingdom of God. It is a land of rolling hills and a proud race of martial men and beautiful women and wild creatures. It is in the middle between Mysore and Mangalore. Question number 22. What is so significant about Kurg as a place deserving to be visited? The answer is Kurg deserves to be visited for it evergreen rainforest, coffee plantations, different birds and animals, and as an area of adventure, sport, and trekking. Question number 23. Explain in brief about the Kurki people's valor and bravery. The answer is Kurki people have numerous tales of valor and bravery which are recounted from generation to generation. General Karyapa is also a Kurg. The Kurg regiment is one of the most decorated regiments in Indian Army. Question number 24. How is the wildlife of Kurg? The answer is the wildlife of Kurg is a matter of attraction for the tourists. The main river cover reveals the aquatic beauty with Mahasir, a freshwater fish, diving up the kingfisher to water, then squirrels and langurus who perform mischievous acts by splashing the water and some elements like some beautiful elef elephants which are given birth by the mouth. The wildlife also comprises some birds, bees, butterflies, macaques, malabo squirrels, langurs, and slandalories, which keep a watchful eye from the trees on the people. Question number 25. What is the high energy adventure available in Kurg? The answer is in Kurg some high energy adventures are there that make even the most laid back person lively. These adventures cover 
river rafting, canoeing, raffling, rock climbing, and mountain biking. Tourists enjoy all these adventures, including walking, adventure sports like trekking, which is much preferable one in that region. Question number 26. How can one have a panoramic view of Kurg? The answer is, after climbing the Brahmagra Hills, a person can enjoy the panoramic view of the entire mystery of Kurg. If he walks the road bridge, he can discover himself in a 64-acre island, Nisargatama. The panoramic view of it brings all the beauty of Krug at one stroke to the mind of the viewer. Question number 27. Describe the Tibetan settlement in Kuru. From Nisargadhama, if one goes to a new place, Bailatlopi, it can observe a Tibetan settlement. The Buddhist monks with different robes, red ochre or yellow, can be seen. The Tibetan settlement is a serene thing to be discovered by the visitors and they find the heart and soul of India among the Buddhist monks. So dear students, I think these are the important question answers of Kurg. And now in the same audio, I'm starting the other lesson from Assam. The first question is Who wrote the prose piece T from Assam? The answer is Olut Kumar Datta wrote the prose piece T from Assam. Question number two Who is Rasbir? The answer is Rasbir is a student who is studying in a school of Delhi. He is Pranzel's friend. Who is Pranzel is the third question. The answer is Pranzel is a student who is studying in a school of Delhi. He is Rasbir's friend. Question number four. What is Pranzel's father? The answer is Pranzel's father is a manager of Dekiyabari tea state. Question number five. What did Rajbir and Pranjal see in the train compartment? The answer is Rajbir and Pranjal sipped tea in the train compartment. Question number six. Where did Rajbir come in accompanied by Pranjal? The answer is, in accompaniment of Pranjal, Rasbir came to Assam. Question number seven. What was read by Pranjal in the train compartment? The answer is, a detective novel was read by Pranjal in the train compartment. Lesson number eight. Question number eight. What presented a magnificent view? The answer is a large number of tea bushes stretching as far as I could see present a magnificent view against a backdrop and densely wooded hills. Question number nine. What had never seen 
by Raspberry before? The answer is a green atmosphere in a sun spreading for long had never been seen by Raspberry before. Question number 10. And in the place which amounts to the large concentration of tea plantation in the world? The answer is, Assam is the place which amounts to be the large concentration of tea plantation in the world. Question number 11. What did the Chinese emperor do before drinking water? The answer is, before drinking water, the uh, emperor always boiled it. Question number 12. Who was Bodhidharma? The answer is, Bodhidharma was an ancient Buddhist ascetic who cut off his eyelids because he felt flippy during meditation. Question number 13. What did Bodhidharma do? The answer is Bodhidharma cut off his eyelids because he felt sleepy during meditation and ten tea plants grew out of the eyelids. Question number 14. What banished Bodhidharma's sleep? The answer is when Ten tea plants grew out of the eyelids of Bodhidharma. The leaves of these plants were put in hot water and the tea produced from it banished his sleep. Question number 15. When does the first sit in China as per Raspberry? The answer is as per Rasbir, in 2700 BC, he was first sit in China. Question number 16. What was he looked as in Europe? The answer is, in Europe, he was looked more as a medicine than a beverage. Question number 17. Name the railway junction where they finally got off. The answer is Mariani is the railway junction where they finally got off. Question number 18. Who was waiting to receive both of them? The answer is Mr. Barua. Pranzel's father was waiting to receive both of them. Question number 20. Name the garden managed by Pranzel's father. The answer is Dekiabari Tea Estate is a tea garden managed by Pranzel's father. Question number 21. What was worn by Plakus? The answer is, plastic aprons were worn by the tea pluckers. Question number 22. What did the tea pluckers pluck? The answer is, the tea pluckers plucked the newly sprouted leaves. Question number 23. What was the sprouting period of tea plants? The answer is, the sprouting period of tea plants is generally between May and July of the year. Question number 24. Where do the tea plackers put the tea leaves? The answer is, the tea plackers Put the tea leaves in bamboo baskets. Next question, question number 25. 
narrated briefly Raspberry's remark on the discovery of tea and the legends that supported it. The answer is Raspberry remarks on the discovery of tea supported by two legends. According to him, the one is about the Chinese emperor who had the habit of taking boiling water. One day, a few tea leaves of the twigs burning under the pot fell into the water, creating a delicious smell. It is also said that in the other legend that the ancient Buddhist ascetic Bodhidharma cut off his eyelids to prevent himself from sleeping during meditation. 10. They grew out of his eyelids and when they were boiled and taken, banished his sleep. Question number 26. Give a description of Dekeberry Tea Garden seen by Pranzel and Rajbir when they were driving through it. The answer is just at the entrance of Dekeberry Tea Estate. There was a cattle bridge and a roach were of gravel path. From where acres upon acres areas of land were seen with tea bushes, group of blockers with bamboo baskets on the backs wearing plastic aprons were plucking the newly sprouted leaves. On the way, some tractors were seen pulling trailers with loads of tea leaves. And when Brandel's father saw one of them, he slowed his car and allowed the tractor to pass. Question number 27. How was the scenery outside the train? The answer is, outside the train, it was green and green everywhere. The green paddy fields gave away to tea bushes. Moreover, against the backdrop of thickly wooded hill, a great amount of tea bushes had spread it, as far as eyes could see. The small tea plants were seen with some tall trees amidst orderly tea bushes moving back like dolls. Now next question, question number 28. What had never seen by Raspberry before? The answer is Though for Pranzel, the magnificent views of bushes were a common, but for Rajbir, it was a matter of excitement because he had never seen such a greenery of tea bushes before. He got astounded after the beauty of green fields of the tea bushes. Question number 20. Nine. What did Rasby tell Pranzel more about tea? The answer is Rasby told Pranzel that tea was first drunk in China. It is evident from some words that we still use, like chai and chini, which are from China. He also added that tea came to Europe. In the 17th century, and was drunk more than a medicine, than a beverage. Question number six. 
What did a group of T plus do? The answer is group of T plus were plucking newly sprouted leaves in their bamboo baskets, putting on their bags, and wearing plastic aprons. It was second flush of sprouting period, as informed by Rashbir. Next question. This will be question number 31. What did Rajbir and Pranjal see on both the sides of the gravel road? The answer is on both the sides of the gravel road, Rajbir and Pranjal saw across or an across of tibuses which are neatly pruned to the same height and some groups of tea pluckers were plucking the newly sprouted leaves by putting on bamboo baskets on their backs and wearing plastic aprons. Question number 32. What was told by Pranjal's father, Mr. Barua, about the tea bushes? The answer is, Pranjal's father, Mr. Barwa, supported the views of Rajbir regarding tulips and also told him that he had done a good homework before coming to Assam. He was surprised to see Rajbir's knowledge, especially when he told him about the last sprouting period of bushes. Question number 33. Elucidate in your words the ways of Rasbir in accompaniment with Pranzal to the estate of Assam. The answer is Rasbir came with Pranzal to Assam to enjoy the beauty of green field, fields spreaded by the tea bushes on the ways he got astounded by the magnificent beauty of the tibuses in across and across of land with sturdy tall trees. During the journey, he told that he, he was first drunk in China all in the 16th century. He came to Europe as medicine first. They were received by Franz's father at Moridin Junction and taken to Dekevery Tea Estate, which was the rocking place of Pranzel's father, where he is working as a manager. So, dear students, these are the two lessons I told you. I have already discussed the uh, question answers of the question bank and in my next video I am discussing two poems. Thank you very much.